Hello friends, welcome to this problem solving session on triangles. In this question, it's given that angle A is 100, though it doesn't look like it is 100 degree, but let me say this is 100 degrees. Okay, so it is 100 degrees and AB is equal to AC. So this side is equal to AC. You have to find B and C. So this X and this Y. So what are these? You have to find out. Okay, so how to go about this? So we just learned that angles, angles opposite to opposite to equal sides in a triangle in a triangle are equal and vice versa, right? Are equal and vice versa. Vice versa means that if angles are equal, the sides will be equal. Okay, so if angles are equal, then sides are going to be equal. So we know that uh, x is equal to y. So we can say x is equal to y. Now, x plus y plus 100 degrees is equal to how much? 180 degrees. And why is this? This is because of angle sum property. Angle sum property. Of a triangle, right? Angle sum property of a triangle. This is what we have learned. So that means I can use these two equations: equation number one and equation number two to solve my problem here. So it is two x plus hundred degrees will be equal to one eighty degrees. Very very simple. So two x will be equal to how much? One eighty minus hundred. Clear? One eighty degrees minus hundred degrees. Correct. So this is nothing but 80 degrees. Right? 80 degrees. So hence x will be simply 80 degrees by 2. Hence 40 degrees. So we have proved or you have found out that x and y both are equal to 40. Right? So hence angle B is equal to angle C is equal to 40. Right? So I hope you understood. So here we have we have used two concepts. One is this the concept that angles opposite to equal uh, uh, sides opposite to equal angles are equal, and the vice versa, and angle sum property of triangle. Let's solve one more problem. Like this. So here is one more problem, guys. It says that in the given figure, AB is equal to AC. Again, the sides are equal. These sides are equal. And ACD is 120. So you can check this is 120 degrees here. You have to find out angle A. Correct. So again, the given the sides are equal. So you have to write like this. Given what is given? AB is equal to AC. Right? And what is what else is given? Angle ACD is equal to 120 degrees. Isn't it? So this is given. Now what to find? You have to find what? You have to find angle A. Okay, so let's find that out. So, what is the use of this? You already know. So, we know that if AB is equal to AC, we know that. So, let's write the solution here. We know that since AB is equal to AC, therefore, angle ABC is going to be equal to angle ACB. Right? Because angles opposite to equal sides are going to be equal. So let us say this is x, this is y. Right? And in fact, if it is x, this is x itself. So I can write this as simply as x, isn't it? This is x. Now, so I can write it here now. By angle sum property, angle sum property property angle sum property of a triangle what can i say by angle sum property of a triangle x plus x plus angle a okay plus plus so x plus x plus angle a is 180 degrees isn't it by angle sum property of the triangle so hence 2x um also we also have one more relationship angle x plus angle a is 120 degrees 
and why is that this is exterior angle property isn't it so exterior angle is equal to sum of sum of what interior opposite angles i'm writing in short right so hence i can find out these two relations are there now let's yeah so first of all let's simplify this one so we can write this equation here as 2x plus angle a is equal to 180 degrees okay and now can i not write it here so let me write from this equation which equation from this equation i can write x is 120 degrees minus angle a correct so 2x will be how much 240 degrees minus 2 angle a multiplying the entire equation by 2 you get the same thing now if this is true then what can i say from this equation now 2x plus a is 180 so you can write 240 degree minus 2 angle a here this one plus this angle a plus angle a is 180 degrees right i'm using this equation now so from here you will get uh, angle a is equal to 60 degree kelvin 60 degree so angle a comes out to be 60 degrees in fact if angle a is 60 degree if this is 60 and x and x are also these are angle b is equal to angle c so x also is 60 degree you can calculate and this also will be 60 degree. okay so this is how you have to solve this problem so uh, what are the underlying concepts here so we use two concepts one is asp angles and property and another is exterior angle theorem right we just learned in the previous chapter right so i hope you understood this problem